welcome to Monaco to all of you. Very, very exciting for me. So it's the beginning of driving with Nico, my first classic car tour. And I'm just on my way to the harbor now because there's going to be the inscription process there at Riva. And so it's the first time that all the cars meet together. It's going to be a special moment. Have a look at some of the cars i'm going to show you my favorite ones so there's really like absolutely everything porsche ferraris mercedes like out of control and, i mean of course i'm going to miss out on a couple of them but let's start with a 288 gto which is uh the first yeah. one from the line of ferrari hypercars from the beginning of the 80s and we've got um a 275 gts so this is also a ferrari this is epic it's a porsche race car Yes. Uh, it's yes. about 3.5 million, very, very ultra rare as well. This is fast, like this is proper fast, like aluminium lightweight Cobra. Extremely special and rare Cobra there. I know Christian. One of the most awesome cars, I think. Of course, the, the 300 SLs, one road, uh, one uh, uh, hard top. This is from one of the most legendary car collectors in the world, Corrado Lopresto. Uh, he wins all the he wins all the awards at um, at classic car shows with this car, uh, in all the most spectacular shows in the world. And unbelievable story. Um, this is one of the first Ferraris, because Ferrari started to started as a team boss running Alfa Romeos before he became a manufacturer himself. So this is one of the first Ferraris, which is actually an Alfa Romeo. Um, and then you have an epic, uh, epic Porsche there from the Pan America, so the biggest rally uh, from the 60s, 70s in, in uh, Central America, I believe. And one, one very, very legendary Lancia. So as you see, there's everything and we're still waiting for the 250 GT short wheelbase coming soon. So now the inscription is done and the Corvette has just switched on the engines. And listen to the sound, uh, it's actually epic, epic sound. So landing here in Le Castellet, it was e epically bumpy on that ride. We were like landing like completely sideways onto the runway, so it was pretty scary. And now going off to the racetrack and going for some action. Okay, so we're starting out with the Aston Martin Vantage, uh, 4 liter, 510 horsepower, V8, B turbo. Let's go. Okay, here we go. First lap. Three, two, one, go. 
original racing derivative of the car that Ayrton Senna was developing back in the day, the NSX, the first NSX. This is it, and this actually raced in Le Mans, so it's a very, very historic car, and Ayrton Senna has a big part of this in, in history. That's it here from day one in uh, Le Castellet on the Formula 1 track. I think we had a great time, really it was lovely to take everybody around as well and, and really give them a first-hand view of, uh, of what it feels like to drive a car on such a limit, all these uh, supercars here. So good fun, really had a, had a great time, thanks for watching so far and up next is the legendary huge uh, classic rally day which is starting tomorrow, more than 200 kilometers over all the incredible mountains in the south of France, this is going to be epic. Is the master in disaster? Huh? Or experience. We've got we it are so We've experienced got it drivers. We're going for the we're going for the win here. We could drive with okay, the okay, eyes okay, shut. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so you start. It's a standing start. Standing start. Six miles. Six miles. Six seconds. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we are here in the middle of the mountains and we've just uh, taken a stop here on the parking and having a quick bite to eat and lunch and it's been an unbelievable morning. I mean we went through the, the highest, um, highest places here in the south of France up the mountains and serpentine roads, you know, flat out, uh, flat out through the hairpins so that was really really good fun to drive and it's just very very special. And then this guy, he's the absolute legend in the regularity rally so he does everything like to the thousandth of a second. You need to cross the regularity points in the right moments so he's got all these GPS and and the timing systems and everything and he even has his markings look so he's done he has his marking here and then he puts his head against the window against the window so that his head is exactly always in the same position then he has the marking there and so he exactly knows like the instant the front wheel crosses the line he has that visually because you need to get it absolutely perfect and he's leading the way but we're p2 at the moment frank and i frank is my co-driver for the this day this is the equipment that we have super high and tech, we're just using that and we're p2 first time we're ever doing from it our smartphone. and this afternoon we're attacking him you see that he has time uh, i mean we we're trying as well but i think he's like ahead of us here as well huh? <laughs> in this thing it gets so hot and uh, so I have my tennis t-shirt because otherwise it's unbearable and we also put the towels on the leather so you get a bit of uh, air between because otherwise you just bah, like completely soaking wet but uh, it's good.